Okay then, guys, we take a look at these two swings now. They're from a slightly different angle, unfortunately. I didn't quite get the camera on the correct angle on this left-hand one, so it is a little bit off to the right there. But generally speaking, the issue we saw now is the club went back. You can see the movement here now. Your right leg is almost sort of statue still, so your right hip is not moving at all as the club gets to about kind of halfway back now on the takeaway. At this point now, the legs are still really not moving that much at all. Club's in an okay position, a smidgen behind you. The top half now is rotating nicely, but now your hips are going to start having to move. But the club's gone so far back now, if you were to rotate your lower half here and now from here and here, that club would get really, really behind you. So now you kind of also got to start lifting up and sort of straightening up that leg. So you're putting a lot of stress and pressure on that back and then kind of completing the swing now with this kind of crunk and jump sort of up the top of the back so now losing sort of a bit of control there bouncing into position really putting a lot of strain and stress on the back so that takeaway there as we can see with no lower half movement at all what we're going to really focus on is get that right side it's kind of a, a simple analogy we said if I said you know I stood here to the right of you hand me the object move your body yeah so they get the body to move your chest your hips your knees everything starts moving away as one unit now the club has got a little bit inside here now, which is why we're getting a bit of a draw, which is okay. We can deal with that once the engine starts working better, but focus on that body moving to the right shoulder, the right hip, everything's moving back away in the takeaway. And then when you get to the top of the backswing here now, it's a much smoother transition. I suppose that sort of jumpy move before, the club now can come down a much better angle of attacking the golf ball. Good strike as we can see, ball starting just right at target with a nice little soft draw back to target. And I think from a health perspective, as we discussed there, Gav, okay, getting the body to move more fluidly, not resisting anything, is going to take a lot of stress and pressure off that lower back. So get that right side moving, both shoulder, both torso, both hip, both knee. Everything moves away as if you would do just handing an object to someone to your right. You would have to worry about trying to resist your knees or keep them stuck in the ground. So get it more fluid, get it more flow, and hopefully take the pressure off your lower back, buddy. So if that makes sense, any questions, obviously give me a shout, buddy. But I'll catch you soon. Cheers, guys.